Hello and welcome to another EdXL IGSSC Computer Science Powers Paper Question. This is the sample assessment materials and um, we're looking at question 4 in a series. We've already looked at question 1, 2, 3 and now we're on to question 4. Paper 1 is a theory paper and you get 2 hours to complete it. It's written exam, no calculator and we're going to go and look at question 4 now. So question 4. In a computing device, the software is executed by the hardware. Figure 1 is a diagram of the inside of a computer. So this is a diagram here, figure one. We've got the RAM, we've got the cache, control unit, registers here, and we need to label A, B, C, and D. So label the items A, B, C, and D. Now, so A is the clock. How can we tell that? Well, you can see the pulses here, up and down. These are the pulses of the clock that control the clock speed. So number of cycles per second. And with a 4 gigahertz processor, you're talking about 4 billion cycles per second, 4 billion instructions per second that it can process. Hertz is the number of instructions per second. So with a 4 gigahertz processor, we're talking about 4 billion instructions per second. Okay, now just move it up. So what is B? Now, we have RAM here. We have the main memory. So what we need is address in the main memory and we also need the data coming out of it so we're either going to have address and data now address is one way because we're checking the address of the ram so b is the address bus and c is the data bus which goes both ways if you look at the arrow it's double headed because we add data and we extract data from RAM. Then finally, we have D. The strange looking thing here, V shape is the arithmetic and logic unit, ALU. So that gives us four marks for this question. Question A2, describe one function of the cache. Cache memory is memory that is closest to the CPU. There are three levels of cache, level one, level two, level three. Level one is the fastest, level two, slightly slower, but more capacity. Level three is the slowest, but with the largest capacity. The purpose of it is, is to store frequently used instructions by the CPU that's closer to the CPU than RAM is. So it's for fast access of frequently used instructions. So our answer, so my answer then, cache use frequently used instructions ready for use. It speeds up processing because it's closer to the CPU than RAM. Just notice a little typo there, just adjust that. So closer to the CPU than RAM is. Okay, B, slightly different question here. Tom has just bought a computer. He's opened an executable email attachment from someone he did not know. Naughty Tom, you should never do that. Never open an email attachment from someone you don't know with an executable file. Since then, all of his email contacts have reported receiving hoax emails from his email address. Take two actions that Tom can take to resolve this problem using utility software. Right, never ever open executable files from people you don't know. Never open them anyway. It's not a great idea. Definitely not from people you don't know. So what should Tom do? Right, first thing, install antivirus software. So number one, he should install the antivirus software and then he should run it to check for viruses. Second thing he do should do is he should keep the antivirus software up to date so checking for new viruses as they come out. New viruses come out all the time it's the antivirus software. As soon as there is an update, it should be updated regularly. Obviously, the other thing you should do is to apologize to all his email contacts for the emails that he's been sent. But it's too late to do anything about it. It's kind of kind of sorting things out now, kind of damage limitation, and that is the antivirus software. In the future, he should think twice before opening email attachments from people he does not know. Question C. The Internet of Things, IoT, is a network in development where everyday objects such as cars, shipping crates can send and receive data. Identify the name of the system. Is it A. Decomposed, B. Agent-based, C. Embedded, or D. 
optimized. It is, of course, C embedded for one mark. Two, to finish this question off for another two marks to give us 11 in total golf balls. Can now be part of the IOT, Internet of Things. One manufacturer uses RFID, radio frequency identification tag for this purpose. Describe how the functionality of these new golf balls will be used. The golf ball contains the RFID chip. So if you've got a receiver, you can find out the location of the ball. If you've hit it and it's, you don't know where it's gone, it's gone into bushes, wherever, gone into woods, you can go and find the ball because it's got an RFID chip. And as long as you've got a receiver, you're going to be able to go and track the ball. You're going to be able to find it and not, there'll be no more lost golf ball. So my answer is the golf ball contains an RFID chip, which could then be used to find the ball if it got lost. The golfer could use handheld receiver to track the location of the golf ball. Now, that finishes question four. That is a total of 11 marks. I say thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when my new videos come out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.